side of the universe will be in there. Just jump in his pocket and you're in the next universe. That'd be pretty awesome though. I would I would do that or a time machine. You know, just go in the past just by jumping in his pocket. That would help. Mm-hmm. What's going on over here? Cat looks freaking wasted. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. I never Cassie touched the cow before. Cassie says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. How'd you know? Did you lick it? Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. That's cool. Can't wait to Thanksgiving, actually. Yep. Thank you for saying that. Talk to Duck. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, <laughs> it smells funny in here. Maybe you should close your legs, Duck. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Duty. <laughs> Kids. I remember when I used to get in trouble for saying duty. Now I can say shit all I want. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! Yeah, it was in my pocket of portals. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, daddy. <laughs> thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Wow, you're animalists. Way of saying sexist, I guess. Alright, let's uh, leave the barn. Talk to everybody in there. I don't think there's much else. Is the storm brewing? So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Larry getting it in. Trying to get that, that, that grainy stuff I can't say. Trying to get that, that grainy punani. If you know what punani means. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. 
He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. Oh, isn't him. that so nice? Too bad I don't give two shits. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, that's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. That's for sure. And the epic walk of shame. Uh, how do you exit? Here we go. It's funny how there's a storm happening. Not happening, but you guess you can hear a storm in the game happening or about to happen. And in real life, Hurricane, I think it's called Hurricane Sandy, is about to happen in uh, a couple days or tomorrow, something like that. Who knows? We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. He's like, God damn it, you ruined my chances of getting some Punani. You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too before long. Before too long. I think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful. You could have just said here, soon. Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before. So I'm saying before too long. You say soon. Or in a couple minutes or something like that. My mom always says that. She's like, whenever I ask her, when is the food going to be done? She says, in a couple minutes. And then it'd be like two hours. And finally, the food's done. It's like ready. Like, come on now. Be realistic. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? This dude's psycho. Not much, I guess. Exactly. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too, or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. Deal? You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Don't say that like that in a suspicious voice. It's just too creepy. I wonder where, um, what's his name? Where is, uh, who am I looking for? Where's Kenny at?
I don't feel like talking to Larry because he's a dick. Loading screen. Now I got darker apparently. Let's see what's in here. I guess the cows were in here. Mm-hmm. Same thing. No need to go in the other one. What the heck is this door? Why can't I open this? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. I know, right? He's not another racist joke. He's black. He should be able to open the lock. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. All right. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. <laughs> He's mad. I want to do it again, but I don't want to ruin the chances of, uh, you know, failing. He's kind of heated though. He's like, "Come on, don't fuck around with that." <laughs> All right. Distraction, distraction, distraction. Hmm. What's a better distraction distraction than a generator? Turn that off. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Oh, I think that's a good enough distraction. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Okay, well. That sucks. Huh, I need a screwdriver apparently. To open that little thing from before. Toolbox. That wasn't there before when I cut the boards. Mm. Take the multi tool. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I don't know how nobody's seen this dude. Not even my own, uh. I don't know what called, my own group. I don't even know how they're not seeing it. Guess I'm gonna need a oh screen. Oh god, just open it with the multi tool. There you go. 
I wish it was that easy to open some. There you go. Uh... Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving really? fast. Really? Just use common knowledge. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. Okay. There you go. There, that should do it. You're just gonna leave it open? Wow. Of course he's no What? How did what? How did he close? No oh, fucking thing through a bell. Damn it all. Oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. I don't understand how Lee just walked away. And then all of a sudden, he left the door open, walked away, and then when the cutscene went back to Andy. The door was freaking locked. I don't understand. Well, it wasn't locked fully. I mean, he didn't, Andy didn't screwdriver it open, but that was just, wow. That, that was amazing. That, talking about some, some BS. I wish I could do that in real life. We can unlock something and then we'll walk away and it'll be fine. Alright, let's walk over here to the door. I'm guessing the food's done. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, yep. let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Oh. Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. You're making an excuse for me. Oh, you know, just stay in the barn, watching the cow from a long distance near the suspicious door. Um, you know, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Man, that really is a multi-tool. I need one of these, actually. It'd be really help helpful. What time is it? It's about to be 5.36. Or, I mean, it's 5.36. PM, not AM. And what is in there? A meat cellar, I think. A bunch of blood everywhere. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. My bad. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idiot brother. Hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. Okay. I lied to him and he believed me. That's... Wow. Nobody believes my lies. That's why I can't lie. Or am I being sarcastic? Who knows? Um... Yeah, that was the stupidest lie ever and he fell for it. It makes no sense. Oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. I might make these videos 20 minutes long. So just 15 minutes. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and ain't been back inside mm -hmm. since. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Uh-huh. I will let him find if I wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. I gotta listen to the mama. Even if it's not your mama. Alright. No, don't go in the medicine cabinet, dumbass. I actually do go in there. Fine, why not? Uh. Some kind of some lotion. Some kind of lotion. I could use a shave. Lotion's used for masturbating. Of course, why else would you need lotion? So what, do, what, do, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Uh, alright, let's open that back up. Take a look. Looks old. Labels worn so on. This thing. Gauze. Gauze. Yada yada. Close the medicine cabinet. Can I not wash my hands? Or I can go upstairs. I don't know how they're not hearing the water running. 
you know? You were in like the most noise noisiest shoe.